Welcome again. This is Nman Twin Enable. Just bring you a video about the M83 webbing set from the South African Defence Force SADF. This here is the big pack I've had for a while. Just got to load that with a bit of gear, a sleeping mat, a blanket from X Army Australian blanket, poncho, a couple of things. Shows these uh, patched on the side. Can bring us here to what they call the battle vest. So you'd wear this, it's a uh, big pouch here, it's enough to fit in the square water bottle. And the chest webbing, which uh, obviously goes in your chest and holds your magazines. The idea being that the battle vest, you'd wear by itself, if you're going on a uh, day patrol or even overnight patrol. And it didn't really work carrying the backpack because these two pouches here, don't really allow your backpack to sit properly. This uh, vest is more than big enough to hold your gear. There's these two big pouches either side, big enough to hold a big square water bottle that the South African Defence Force uses. Two pouches at the back, a lower one and an upper one. The upper one has a Flap on the top with a hole in, so if you had a radio or something in here, you could get access to it. A lot of this gear has uh, zips on, which some people think zips aren't very good, but these zips survive pretty well. And lower pocket with zips. The side of the water bottle pouch, uh, there's a pocket here with a divider, so the divider in there fit uh, two magazines. Coming around to the front. Right hand side, another pocket here, you could fit magazines in, small pocket here, maybe a grenade or something like that, compass, another pocket here, for magazines. Flipping over, see how it's quite well padded on the inside here, uh, these straps actually wrap around the other side for tying on something. It's all adjustable, it's adjustable here, each side for your waist size, and it's adjustable up the top here for your shoulder size and how you want to carry it. Then coming across to the other side, which is effectively the left hand side, big pouch here, another smaller pouch, pouch at the top, more magazines, more magazines on the side here, and your big water bottle pouch and we're back to the start. So you can carry an awful lot of gear in this, quite a few magazines, water, food, whatever you want. Those straps on the side here wrap around here so you can tie on a poncho, a tarp or something like that. Has a couple loops at the bottom as well. I think these are actually your poncho loops down the bottom here. And that's what they would have used. So since they developed this it came after the Pattern 70 and Pattern 65 type webbing, mainly from the, what the British used, this was a huge advancement. This whole set actually, huge advancement for infantry soldiers to be able to carry their gear. Of course now we've moved on a little bit in the design, but uh, still a lot of things are still the same. Except, notice uh, you know, this is pre-molly gear, so there's no molly loops and rows and stuff. On here and all these pouches are fixed can't take them off but there's been uh, some some uh, copies of this stuff and very similar in the design but uh, the pouches come off and things like that here we come to the chest webbing fairly basic just have a pouch on the side here three pockets for the magazines to go a, a divider inside so a double magazine six mags in all Small pocket here, and a little pocket there, two shoulder straps. On the back here, see somebody's name, and a pouch on the back where you put a map or something like that. So, normally this one, and the big bag would be worn together. So you could carry your magazines on your front, and carry your big pack. This big pack I read was about 70 odd litres, a bit over 70 litres in size. You notice here, 
it's got the top section there's a bottom section here with the zip zipped in and four big big pads on each side so two on each side with zips these are big enough to fit the two liter water bottles in same on the other side pouch here and the pouch here got something in that one uh, there's no compression straps on this and no molly gear like I mentioned before because this is pre-molly but um, so it just says this big flap here which covers over the top which tends to act a bit like a compression strap but from the top and here we've got straps built in here I just got uh, a sleeping mat in the top section here see I've got uh, couple of wool tile blankets and a poncho liner and a bit of gear inside just to pack it out these packs actually came with a metal frame oh in the top flap here should mention uh, there's a zip and the pocket goes all the way down to the bottom here so for putting some extra gear in flipping it over there you see two shoulder straps here chest buckle coming down here so there's no quick detach buckle here same on each side it has these two straps here attached to the shoulder straps don't really know what they're for I've tried to look and some people have got some different ideas tying the pack to the outside of a vehicle or something like that I don't know so it has a built-in waist strap with a connector here These packs uh, did come with a metal frame, so the metal frame hooked in this loop at the top and the strap on the side here, each side tied the pack onto the frame. I didn't realise there, there was a frame until recently when I saw on YouTube a guy was demonstrating had the frame, so and I'm sure it would be more comfortable because I've had this pack loaded up it is a little bit uncomfortable with the extra weight, but it still works okay. But I'm um, seeing that uh, people make frames out of PVC, so I'm looking to make a PVC frame that I'll connect in here and go across. And I've got some uh, Molly waist belt and some Molly shoulder straps on order, so when they come, I look to make a frame and see how it works here. So that's the set: the big pack, battle vest, and the chest webbing M83 South African Defence Force webbing. Thanks for watching. This Ant-Man Twitter enable.